bro. So we got four. The four tiers is gonna be best contenders, playoffs, trash. So contenders is people that I could genuinely see competing to win the Super Bowl. Playoffs are people that's gonna be either making the playoffs or right there on the cut. And then we got trash for teams that are obviously going to be trash. So when it comes to the the Cardinals, I feel like the Cardinals are a playoff team. But I couldn't go any further than that. I could see them missing the playoffs. I could see them maybe winning a round in the playoffs. But I can't go any further than that, to be honest. Because I don't know if their defense is going to be able to keep up with how good their offense really could be. So, And they lost Chase Edmonds. Now they how did was pick IT up. and Bruce Craig? So, yeah, do not start with this. Do not start with this. But uh, Cardinals, I would say they're a playoff team. Their division is always tough. It's not going to be as tough as it usually is because the Seahawks is not going to be as good. So that opens it up a little bit, but the Rams are still there and the 49ers are still there. So that's just really tough. And I think they're, both of those teams are better, honestly. Falcons, I think the Falcons are not going to be that good of a team this year. They're not really aiming to. They're going more young. Um, Matt Ryan is not there. I don't know if that's a positive or a negative at this point in his career, but... They replaced him with Marcus Mariota. They even have a rookie quarterback now. Um, Drake London is their rookie, like, number one pick, for real. Kyle Pitts is really good. But all in all, they're really just a young team right now. We're putting them in trash. Baltimore Ravens. When it comes to the Baltimore Ravens, honestly, the Baltimore Ravens would have been a lot. They would have definitely made the playoffs last year if they didn't lose, like, eight games at the end of the game doing stupid things, risking it for no reason. And doing that, especially without Lamar Jackson. Did you spit in it? All right, bro. Yeah, this nigga's going. Yeah, this nigga's going. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's going. Time this nigga out. Yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's going. All right. <coughs> the Ravens, I would say, I don't know if I can say as far as contenders because they did lose Marquise Brown, so we don't know how big of a deal that's going to be. But I still think they're going to be able to run the ball, especially in comparison to the last year where they lost literally all their running backs. They lost literally all their defenders at the beginning. Like, before the season even started, a lot of their best players were already hurt for the whole year. So they're kind of in between contenders and playoffs. I'm not really too mad about it. It really just depends on if Lamar can stay healthy. And due to his play style, I'm not too confident in that. So I'll put them above the Cardinals. But I will say I have them in the playoffs. The Bills... Um, I'm not going to say who's the best until we get done with every team, but the Bills are 100% the definition of a contender. So, yeah. Panthers. Panthers are an interesting team because they have a really good team from, like, a standpoint of position players, a decent O-line, a good defensive line, good linebackers, decent corners, decent safeties. It's just the quarterback. And they went from having Cam Newton and Sam Darnold last year. Well, they had Sam Darnold. He got hurt. Then they had whoever they had. And then they had Cam Newton came in. Sam Darnold came back. It's just a bad quarterback situation. Now they even have Baker Mayfield. Now, if Baker Mayfield can be better than all those, that will help them a lot. Christian McCaffrey staying healthy, that would help them a lot. But at the end of the day, I could only say the Panthers could be at the best, like just barely making the playoffs not making the playoffs because of that quarterback situation. So I will put them for now at the back of playoffs. The Bears are trash. I'm sorry to say it to all you Bears fans. Y'all really don't have much on your team right now. Khalil Mack is going. Now, he wasn't the craziest. I'll give y'all that. But, like, from a wide receiver standpoint, y'all also lost Allen Robinson. Um, offensive line, I don't think y'all offensive line is as bad as people act like. But when it comes to the Bears, bro, it's just really tough to, to like try to tell y'all y'all gonna have a good season this year. It's gonna be kind of rough. I actually hope Justin Fields does good this year, but if I'm being honest, y'all probably deserve the trash tier. I'm gonna be honest. Um, when it comes to the Bengals, the Bengals, I think the Bengals are gonna be a contender off their offense alone. Their defense could get even better this year, but I feel like the quarterback to wide receivers that they actually have, it's very, very good. Joe Mixon, offensive line, is only going to get better with time, I feel like, as they keep drafting these players. Um, defensively, the pass rush is going to get better. Linebackers, pretty decent. And they have one of the best safeties in the league with J.C. Bates. So I would say the Bengals are a contender. 
the the Cleveland Browns, due to um, Deshaun Watson and everything that's going on with that, I cannot give them contender. I would give them playoffs and put them right there with the Cardinals and the Ravens. If Deshaun Watson was there, you could 100% argue they're a contender. But due to the things that's, that be, I can't give them that. The Dallas Cowboys, honestly, I feel like the Dallas Cowboys have a what every single year I feel like the past couple years the Dallas Cowboys have a really good team. It's just that I don't even know, bro, at this point. Like I don't know what it is holding them back. I'm not giving them contenders. I think they're a playoff team, but out of all these playoff teams, I think they actually have the best team. It's just like it's their the fact that they're the Dallas Cowboys, bro. I don't I don't really know what to say, I say about the Cowboys. Like Everybody hates the Cowboys, but I'm, I promise you, I'm trying my hardest to be as unbiased as possible. They just find a way every single year to just not contend. So I'll give them playoffs because they're talented. Offensive line, running backs, wide receivers still are really good. All right, chat. Are y'all going to troll me, like, the whole video? Like, what's going on? Like, are y'all good? Can, can y'all calm down? Free like, my Biaro saw you. They locked him up because he's like that. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all, 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 y'all. Obviously, y'all obviously got something going on. So I'm gonna let y'all rock. I'm gonna let y'all rock. Anything else y'all got to say? Anything else y'all got to say? All right, all right, man. All right, all right but Cowboys, I'm gonna put them at the top of the playoffs because they're talent wise, they're better than every other team. It's just I don't know what what to tell them, bro. Like. Um, maybe the, the corners aren't that crazy, but they are getting better with safeties, in my opinion, with the additions that they have. Uh, Trayvon Diggs can't be as bad in coverage as he was last year, but at the same time, is he going to get as many picks? That is very unlikely as well. So, um, I feel like their defense could be even better this year because they have probably one of the best young pass rushers or linebackers or, or whatever you want to categorize Michael Parsons as. He's just that guy, I'm going to be honest. He's just that guy, and he only can get better. So, yeah, I think there definitely should be in the playoffs. Broncos. Now, this division is going to be very tough because I genuinely don't know what team is the worst because from the Broncos' standpoint, they added what they literally just needed. Kind of like how the Panthers literally just need a quarterback. The Broncos are, if anything, better than the Panthers. They have great wide receiver core. They have a good two duo of running backs a decent offensive line, always have a good pass rush, great secondary, uh, and now they have Russell Wilson. Now, if Russell Wilson is as bad as he was last year, it's going to be tough, but Jerry Judy got packed? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look, let me look, let me look, let me look. What happened to Jerry Judy? Wait, what happened? What do you mean he got packed? I don't know what you mean. I don't see what you mean. But um, I would honestly say the Broncos have a chance to be a contender. Honestly. Tim Patrick being hurt is a big deal, but I think Hamler is going to be decent with uh, Russell Wilson. I think Sutton, Cortland Sutton, is going to be a monster with Ru Russell Wilson. And Jerry Judy is going to be very, very good in the slot. Now, depending on if he's injured or not, jail or something, oh, I haven't heard about that. Now, depending on what happened with Jerry Judy, that could be subject to change. But from what I see and what I know, I think they're going to be a contender. The Detroit Lions, it's kind of tough because the Detroit Lions actually had a really good draft. I like that Robert receiver that they picked up, but what, what happened? Um, I think they're going to be a fun more fun team than usual for Lions fans, but let's be real. Let's not even waste no time. They're trash. The Green Bay Packers, they lost literally the best Robert receiver in the NFL. Um, besides that, besides him, they already didn't have the craziest wide receivers, but their running back duo is one of the best, if not the best in the league, in my opinion. A.J. Dillon and uh, Aaron Jones. And they are, we all know who their quarterback is, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Even with what happened in the playoffs, with as good of an O-line as he has, as good as Devontae Adams is, and as good as Aaron Jones is, they still couldn't get t a t more than a touchdown. But I kind of feel like that has more to do with the 49ers than it did the Packers. Um, Packers defense, though, really, really good, and it's only going to get better. So even if their offense is going to regress, I think they're still going to be a contender because look at their division. Off rip. If you just look at the Bears, look at the Lions where they are. They're the two worst teams on here so far. And the Vikings aren't going to be much better. So let's be real. 
the Packers are going to be a contender just off the fact that they're going to have a ridiculous record. They're probably going to be able to aim for a bye off the fact alone that their division is that bad, so they're going to get a lot of free wins. And, yeah, apparently, though, the Packers might have a tougher uh, schedule, so depending on that, I could see them going down here in the playoffs. I just don't see a Cowboys beating the Packers in the playoffs because of the fact that Aaron Rodgers is just going to outbeat Dak, in my opinion. It's either low contender or high playoffs. I'm going to go high, low contender because of their division, but yeah. Uh, Texans, I think the Texans could be underrated this year, but I just don't see them making the playoffs or anything like that. But I do like what they're doing. I like the the pick at cornerback they had. I like Davis Mills. He's not as bad as people act like. Um, but yeah, I would put them right here with the Falcons and trash. The Indianapolis Colts. Uh, I appreciate the bit, CK. The Indianapolis Colts. Honestly, if I had to say they're anything, I would have to go for the Colts. Yeah, they have to be, have to be playoffs. Like, I don't think they're a contender. I don't think they're trash. They just don't have enough on offense. Like, uh, their offensive line is good. They have one of the best running backs in the league. But from the standpoint of, like, their wide receiver core, I don't believe in their quarterback. Um, Their defense is good. But, like, when you don't believe in their quarterback and their wide receivers aren't the best, it's kind of tough. Now, unless you're Derrick Henry, JT could be the, could be up there with Derrick Henry because he was pretty nice last year. But I don't think he's Derrick Henry. So, I'm going to just say he's a, they're a playoff team. And I would say I would say they're right here with the Panthers, except the Panthers probably have a better um, team all around. It's just the Colts probably have a better quarterback. Jaguars. I think the Jaguars are kind of similar like the Texans. They could be shock some teams. They could definitely shock some teams this year. It's just that I don't trust them. So we're going to put them in trash. Kansas City Chiefs, they lost pretty much one of the most broken weapons in the league, especially for a team like the Chiefs. Bro, ignoring that Colts defense. I said the Colts defense is good. What do you mean I'm ignoring their defense? I said the Colts defense is good. I said their Colts defense is good. It's just, it's an offensive league now. And I feel like no matter how good your defense really is, you got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, deal with it. Now, honestly, I could see the argument for, like, the Packers argument, but, like, I don't think the Colts have that quarterback that can match Aaron Rodgers to really make up for how bad their weapons are, if that makes sense, you know? But, yeah. Um, I like Michael Pittman, but like besides Michael Pittman, it's not really much else, if you understand what I'm saying. But Kansas City Chiefs, I think Kansas City Chiefs are going to be kind of underrated wide receivers this year because, yeah, they lost Tyreek, but they added Marcus valdez Scantling. They still have Mar- Miko Hartman. They now also added Juju Smith. And I think K- Travis Kelsey has potential to have the greatest tight end season of all time if Patrick Mahomes is who we think he is. Um, defensively, I think they're going to be worse, by far worse, because of the loss of Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew does a lot for that team, but if I'm going to be honest, they're still a contender. That division is going to be tough, low-key. That division is actually going to be tough. That division is, honestly, it's going to be tough, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Chargers, I think the Chargers are going to be the best in their division. I don't really see the hole in the Chargers. They have a good O-line, pass rush, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, safeties, corners, linebackers, running backs, wide receivers, and arguably one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL. So, yes, I would put the Chargers and the Bills right there at the top of contenders right now. Rams, another obvious contender. They just came off the Super Bowl, and off that alone, I'm going to put them at the top. But am I going to say they're the best? No, we're going to wait till we're done with everybody. Raiders. Raiders again. Bro, every team in this division is a contender. Every team. The Raiders, what did they need? They needed a a wide receiver. They got the best wide receiver in the NFL. Derek Carr is going to go up tremendously with Devontae Adams, Darren Waller, and um, Hunter Renfro. Josh Jacobs is not bad as a running back. Decent offensive line. Pass rush is going to be amazing with Max Crosby and Chandler Jones. Cornerbacks could be a little bit more help. But all in all, bro, 
You don't need the craziest cornerbacks when you have that good of a pass rushing duo. So I would say they're right there with the Chiefs. I don't know which one is worse, but just look at it as they're tied, and I did Raiders last. So, yeah. Broncos over Chiefs is crazy. They're all tied. They're all tied. I put them right there together on purpose. They're all tied. They're all tied. Uh, but, yeah. When it comes to the Dolphins, the Dolphins, in my opinion, are the sleeper pick of the year. Not only did the Dolphins pick up Tyreek, but they also picked up one of the best offensive minds in the league coming from the 49ers. The really, like, the real reason why Debo really was, like, doing all these different design packages. And, yes, Kyle Shanahan is an offensive mastermind for sure. So I don't think the 49ers are going to lack anything with losing him. But with that being said, the Miami Dolphins did get a tremendous offensive coach, and that's going to help their their quarterback a lot, while also giving their quarterback a lot better weapons from a running back standpoint, from a wide receiver standpoint, and I think their defense is going to be very good with a lot of the rookies that they had last year playing as good as they did, being a lot better this year with even more experience. So yes, I do think the Dolphins are going to be very good. Now, when we get done with this full thing, yes, a lot of these contenders are going to be moving out of here. But, oh, man. I feel like, honestly, we need we might need to do a tier because I think these four are in a different tier than these four. Or, yeah, these five. So we might need to do another tier. Let me say. Let me, all right, we're going to put in stuck in between. That's what we're going to call this. Because that's a lot of people in contender. I don't think it's... Okay. All right. I trolled. I trolled. I definitely trolled. Add a row above. Call it contender. Because if I do it like that, bro, it's just going to be too many contenders. And I honestly think these teams are all, like, a tier above those teams. I think these are all in the same tier. I think these are all in the same tier. Minnesota Vikings, I think, is... At the edge of playoffs, they're not trash. They have a lot of talent, offense and defense, but they're just at the edge of playoffs. I'll put them in this area. I think they're better than these. Well, I don't know if they're better than the Colts. I'm gonna be honest, but yeah, they're they're in they're in this area. They're definitely in this area. So yeah. So yeah. Um. When it comes to the Patriots, I am a Patriots fan, and I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Um, do I think we are going to be as lucky as we were last year? Um, defensively, I think we have a chance to be even better with Jabril, Pre Jabril Peppers pickup, but offensively, it's going to be kind of tough. But we actually did pick up a Ricky Rye receiver that I actually have high hopes for, but whenever we actually do get a good Ricky Rye, Rye receiver, He's either injured or just bad. But if you're bad, you're not a good rock, Ricky Rob receiver. So, yeah. Um, Patriots-wise, um, the Patriots division is no longer the cheap shot. It is with the Bills being arguably the best team in the league. Dolphins having a lot of improvements. We're going to have to go with I, – I mean, they still have Bill Belichick, so they could be at the edge of the playoffs. I don't know if they're going to be trash, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. New Orleans Saints. I think the Saints are another one of those Dolphin team, Dolphins teams that could be a sleeper. Defensively, out of all these teams, you could argue that, argue that they're going to be the best. Offensively is where it could be real iffy because of the quarterback situation, but if you actually have faith in Jameis Winston, I think they could be decent offensively because of the fact that you know, Michael Thomas can finally come back and be healthy. When we look at uh, Alvin Kamara, one of the best running backs in the league, Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave is a rookie. Um, offensive line, every single year, the Saints all have arguably the best offensive line in the league. Um, defensively, they added Tyron Matthew to a defense that was already arguably the best in the league. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's up there for sure. And yeah, man, Saints always have an underrated defense. They always have an underrated team the past couple years because of Drew Brees. And yeah, I think they actually have a chance. Now, the only thing I'll say that could be having me overrate them is because they have a new coach. 
And, like, I guess their defensive coordinator is their coach now. And Sean Payton is gone, so maybe their offensive game plan is not as great. But still, I think their team is very, very good up top to bottom. They're just missing a quarterback. But I think their quarterback has a chance to be better because of the weapons. So, yeah. The New York Giants. I'm sorry to tell y'all Giants fans, y'all going to be bad. The Jets. I actually have high hopes for the Jets because I like what they're doing. Wide receivers. I like what they're doing. Running backs. I think Zach Wilson can be a lot better. I think the defense is going to be a lot better. But all in all, man, it is what it is, bro. When you have a young quarterback with a defensive-minded coach and their defense is not really ready to be dominant defensively, nine times out of the ten, they're going to be trash. It just is what it is. Philadelphia Eagles, um, they added A.J. Brown. Let me look at the Eagles, actually. I mean, because I, I, I'm kind of ignorant of the Eagles, what they kind of added on defense. Let's look what they added. Where are the Eagles? Let's look what they added. So we know they got A.J. Brown and um, Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, Jalen Rager is still on the team. They, I didn't know they added Zach Paschal. Didn't know they did that. My lot is one of the best tackles in the league. Jason Kelsey's back another year. Lane Johnson's one of the best tackles in the league. Dallas Goddard is one of the best tight ends in the league. Jalen Hurts is an iffy for me, but, yeah. Miles Sanders is an underrated running back in the league. Defensively, they're going to be good. Pass rush for sure. But when it comes to, oh, they got James Bradbury. I knew they added somebody. Anthony Harris, Darius Slade. That's a good little tandem cornerback-wise. So I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. The, the Eagles have a chance, but I'm going to go playoffs because I don't see them. I might be under, overrating some of these teams because, yeah. This is tough. I ain't gonna lie. This is actually tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I have these, bro. I feel like these teams are in a different tier than these teams. Yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna put another in between because I I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I literally. I literally don't see think these teams should be in the same tier. I don't. I don't. I feel like all the all four of these teams are much better teams than these, but they're not on the tier of some of these teams. So yeah, yeah. All right, Steelers. Um, Steelers. They are gonna have a good defense. I feel like DBs wise, they're not the best, but TJ Watt is on that defense, so pass rush is gonna be dominant. Casey Hayward is on that defense. Um, they could get even better offensively due to the fact ben, Big Ben is not there. That might piss a lot of people off, but like. I'm sorry to tell you, Big Ben was kind of bad last year. Zach Wilson not playing? I know he's injured, but, like, is he is he actually going to miss time in the regular season? Is he actually going to miss time? Let me see. Why did they do that? I don't say he has any um injury for right now, but, I, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I put him in trash, though. Uh, Steelers, uh, though, I love Deontay Johnson. I even gave a nickname, Baby Tay. Love Deontay Johnson. Um, one of the best route runners in the league. Last year, he had a lot better hands. Towards the end of the year, he started dropping the passes like he used to. But all in all, when it comes to the Steelers, I would definitely say, what's good, Hades? I've been straight. Um, Steelers, I would definitely say they're probably going to be trash this year. Ah, nah. Nah, I don't know if I can do that. I feel like they're in that same area as the uh, Patriots where the Patriots may not have the right receivers, but I feel like from a DB standpoint, the Patriots are better. But the Steelers have better pass rush. But I do think the Patriots pass rush is better. But the Steelers' right receivers and running backs are better. So yeah, I'll probably say the Steelers... Steelers probably should go up here, bro. They probably in this range. They probably in this range. Yeah, they probably in that little range right there. Right there. Those are probably the teams that, that's, that's probably similar right now. Seahawks, they're going to be bad in my opinion. I just don't see much in the Seahawks this year. 
quarterback wise. They they like last year we saw how bad they can be without a good quarterback. They don't have Russell Wilson anymore to really come and bail them out if he can even be actually as good as Russell Wilson. And last year he just wasn't Russell Wilson good. So they were bad. And I can see that happening again this year, especially since they don't have Russell Wilson. Now, when it comes to the 49ers, in my opinion, 49ers are 100% a contender. It just depends on the quarterback. I personally don't have the faith in the quarterback that 49ers probably have. But from a standpoint of defense, I do like what they got going on, especially pass rush. Pass rush every single year, they're going to be good. Running backs every year, they're going to be good. But this year, I don't have the craziest faith in their running back, but with, with that coach, he's going to make their running backs do as good as they possibly can. They pretty much have two kittles with use check. Um, I love their wide receiver core with um, Baby Tay on a team. Not Debo, but yeah, Ayuk. But um, I think they also have a Ricky wide receiver that's supposed to be really similar to Ayuk and Debo as well. It's going to be very interesting to see how they use Debo uh, this year without that coordinator that was kind of the mastermind behind the Debo plays. But I know Kyle Shanahan will find a way to produce an offense for that team to make that team not just be a defensive team. So I will put them at the top of Stuck in Between. This might be a little inaccurate. That looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I trust these teams' quarterbacks more than I trust these quarterbacks. But I trust this team's quarterback more than I trust these team quarterback. But I think I think these teams are just going to have better defenses. Much better defenses, if anything. And I trust this team's coach more than this coach at this point. So that's kind of how that goes. Raiders might should go down because I don't know too much about their coach. All right, we'll, we'll put it like this. We'll put it like this. We'll put it like this. Buccaneers, Buccaneers are going to be a contender. They have Brady. They added Julio Jones. They got, like, I don't know how the hell the Buccaneers are this good, bro. Let's look at their roster so y'all think I'm not trolling. Like, like I don't know what the hell, like, am I supposed to the even Steelers do with this? The Steelers are not better than the Colts. The Browns don't even have Watts until week 12. Yeah, that's, why, that's the only reason the Browns are in playoffs, though. I don't have Browns higher than playoffs because of that. Nah, Chargers are not tied. Chargers are better. Chargers are better than all these teams. The Chiefs' defense is not going to be good this year. They lost Tyron Matthew. I don't trust any of them other people. Mate, Sneed is going to be okay, but, like, I don't trust any of their other people. In comparison to the... Bro, y'all want to look at the Chargers' roster? In comparison to the Chiefs? Bro, the Chargers roster is stacked top to bottom. Like, quarterback, I, I would argue their quarterback is on par. Like, even if you wanted to say Mahomes, like, they have Justin Herbert. They have better running backs. They have better right receivers. Tight end is not on par, but, like, come on, bro. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Offensive line is not as good, but, like, it's right there. They have one of the best centers in the league, one of the best tackles in the league. Like, come on, bro. They have a great... Oh line defensively, bro, it's like, come on, bro. Like, let's not do this, bro. They have Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, and Khalil Mack is back to playing outside linebacker. Do not overlook that. He's not playing D end anymore. He's playing outside linebacker, his true position. And they added JC Jackson, arguably a top four cornerback in the league. Like, come on, bro. There's no like, I'm sorry, bro. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Chiefs wide receivers are not going to be as bad as people act like, but their defense, bro, their defense is not going to be on par no more, bro. Like, Justin Reed, Justin Reed is going to be their replacement, but he's not Tyron Matthew. I like Justin Reed, but he's not Tyron Matthew, bro. He was on a team where that's been on bad defensive his whole, his whole career pretty much, except for, like, probably early when J.J. Watt was actually good. So, like, I don't really – like, they, pa they pass rush is going to be good, but, like, Behind it, bro, just don't trust it, bro. I just don't trust it. I just don't trust it. In comparison to the Chargers. In, to, in comparison to the Chargers. That's, that's just that simple. Titans, 
Derrick Henry has to stay healthy this year for the Chargers to be what they need to be. Um, wide receivers, I don't trust anything they have. Um, Teddy Hill has kind of proven that he can kind of do a little something to keep them up upright without really the best wide receiver core. But, yeah. Um, Traylon Burks, actually, I heard Traylon Burks is really good. Robert Woods, I actually forgot they had Robert Woods. Offensive line is not too crazy pass blocking, but run blocking is amazing. Austin Hooper, I honestly didn't know they had him. So they're, they, 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 uh, they're not going to be as bad as I thought they was going to be. I think Caleb Farley, I got high hopes for Caleb Farley, Kevin Byer, one of the best safeties in the league. Christian Fulton, I think he's going to be a lot better than he was last year. Oh, I mean, I, 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 give, I, get, a, I get a Titans. I get a Titans stuck in between off – Henry alone because Henry is one of those running backs that actually can take your team to a higher levels. Browns not better than Cardinals. Um, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. To be honest, I kind of have them tied. Only reason I have them at the bottom of playoffs is because Cardinals, they're missing DeAndre Hopkins to stop start the season. Browns, they're missing Deshaun Watson to start the season. So. Like, if we're talking about full healthy, yeah, they're probably closer to, like, like Put probably the Colts more like this. FFS. Yeah, Colts are not going higher. Like, uh, let's look at the Colts, bro, since y'all want Colts higher. Let's look at the Colts. Let's look at the Colts. Colts aren't going higher. Michael Pittman Jr., I love him. I love him. I love big wide receivers, but, like. Colts aren't a playoff team, WTF fits. Do I think the Colts are a playoff team? I think they're at the edge, bro. Stuck in between is at the edge. At the edge. I only have playoff teams that I think are for sure going to make the playoffs. These are teams I think are for sure going to make the playoffs. Or for sure has a chance. I'm not 100% sure about the Colts, bro. The only reason the Colts might make the playoffs is because of their division. Because you can win your division. So I can see you saying that. But I'm just not, I'm not basing it off that. I'm... If I was basing it off just divisions, that's a completely different thing because um, then the Packers would be in contender because they're easily going to be the best in the division. You know what I'm saying? Or stuck in between. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, it's just the division is not the great. The so greatest. you are for sure the Browns are making playoffs without Watts until week 12? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. Hey, Moody, down. Yeah. Moody, down. Why do y'all want the Colts to move up, though? Let me look at the Colts. Let me look more into the Colts. I like I like their pass rush. I like... They have pretty much solid everywhere, except for, like, the DBs. Like, Stephen Gilmore is a big addition. So that could take them to a whole nother level. But safety steel, I don't trust it too much. Ju Julian Blackman is good, but like I don't really trust everything else too much. Is this a rookie? Is that why he's green? Yeah, he's a rookie. I don't know too much about him, so I can't really say too much about him. But yeah, I just don't know, bro. I feel like Colts and the Steelers are in the same boat, bro. I feel like the Colts, the Steelers, the Vikings, and the, and the uh, Eagles are in the same boat, honestly. And with all these teams, I feel like these teams just have better quarterbacks. Quarterback lead. It's a quarterback-driven lead. Saints' defense is just too good, bro. Running back's too good. Rod receiver's too good. It's just it's just too good of an all-around team for that quarterback to really hold them back. And I actually have faith in Jameis Winston more than I have faith in Kenny Pickett or... Um, what's it called? Kirk Cousins could go higher, but like, I don't think their team is as solid all around. And it's like, I feel like the Vikings right now are kind of like a light Cowboys where like they always either get injured or just something happens to like kind of derail their season. So like, I just, I don't know. These, this team probably the closest with the Eagles to going up. That's what I say. Washington, uh, Commanders. This is a tough team too, bro. I'm gonna be honest. This is a very tough team. The Washington Commanders. 
Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Cam Sims. I don't know who this is. It's a rookie, apparently, because he in green. Offensive line is gonna be uh, nothing crazy, but it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be decent. Logan Thomas, Carson Wentz is the new starting quarterback. Um, J.D. McKissick and Antonio Gibson they apparently drafted a running back. I feel like defensive line they arguably had the best D line in the league. Kendall Fuller is really good. Cameron Curl is very underrated. William Jackson is really good. Logie didn't know they had him. I like some of their running their linebackers too, bro. So honestly, I probably put them in this area with these teams. Like I don't have like stuff in between is really just like I can see them making the playoffs. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't have a hundred percent faith like I have a hundred percent faith in these teams. I just don't have as much faith in these teams to make the playoffs as I have faith in these teams. That's what I'll say. And as the as the higher they are, the more faith I have in them to make the playoffs. Um, this is stuck in between. Um, I just don't have a hundred percent faith in them being contenders. But the higher they are, the more faith I have in them being a contender. But now that we are done with the full tier list. There's only one team that I will be able to say is the best team in the NFL. If I had to say one team. I can't say one. I'm sorry. I know I said I know I said there will only be one, but honestly, I can't say one, bro. Those two teams are just head and shoulders above the rest. Depending on, barring injury, in my opinion, those are the two best teams in the league, top to bottom. I have more faith in the Bills because I feel like the Chargers can kind of underwhelming, but I think that defense is going to be able to be dominant this year with the, uh, people don't know, but last year they took a lot of risk and they lost a lot of games because of those risks, but I think their defense is going to be dominant this year because they actually have a John really good, insane bro. They, they have, the, they have a really good defensive coach and that coach is going to have that defense with that talent being arguably the best defense in the league. I feel like they could genuinely be that this year. And Justin Herbert is no slouch. He's going to put up points. But, like, when he put up points this year, it's not going to be 40 points from the other team as well. I'd be highly surprised because they just have too much talent this year. They have way too much talent on defense. So, yeah, that's my NFL tier list. If you guys want more tier lists like this, I also have to do an NFL player tier list. So, if you guys want me to do this, all I need y'all boys to like, subscribe, comment down below. That's all I say. Uh, y'all probably heard the Twitch niggas. Going crazy the whole sh video, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys want more? Like, subscribe. That's all I ask. But yeah, without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. Out of it, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah.